Hello and welcome to MakeLock number 6. I would like to show you the whole FPV setup, including the power supply for the joystick. The joystick is our controller and we have the car with the camera and the video transmitter built inside on a self-made gimbal and uh, we have the receiver with a TFT. So first let's switch on the TFT. Now the TFT is charging, we switch it on. You see it displays a nice picture. This is a navigational system but it has a video input. The video input allows you to connect the rear view camera of your car and so you can use that navigational system as a video monitor and because this was quite cheap I bought it and I'm just using the video function. In the moment when the receiver, it's the blue PCB here, receives a video signal and decodes it, it the, the signal is sent to the TFT and when the TFT is getting a valid video signal it switches to display the video signal. So I just put it here and you will see when the transmitter is switched on. The other thing is the car. I would like to show you the car. On the top of the car is the self-made gimbal. It can be used to tilt and pan the camera. Um, if you want to release this, I have put magnets here and you can release the whole thing. So you can just put it back here and the magnets will put it to the car and it's a very heavy connection. Let's have a look at the bottom of the car. This is for connecting uh, this power supply and I have a small connector here and I can program the software in the car via this connector. There's no battery inside now because I'm using that power supply. Okay, another thing we have here is the back. Um, in the old versions of the car uh, you will see uh, that we had only these two plastic things and this is very dangerous. If you go backwards and you crash into something they will break. So I made it more solid it's, um, this is an ultrasonic distance sensor which stops the car and prevents it from crashing somewhere. I'm going to connect the car to the power supply and switch it on. The OLED shows some values and one is for example the distance value. I hope you can see it. I'm holding my hand here. I'm moving my hand. It measures the distance. Now it's 7 centimeters. Now it's uh, 16 centimeters. 20 and so on. So this is the whole car and now it's running and working but there's no video signal yet. I have to switch on that camera. I switched it on and when the camera uh, is working we get a signal here and you see it's there on the screen. You see? It's the shadow of the camera at the wall, what we see there. I put the car here so we don't get the reflection of the wheel on the TFT. So the controls are as follows. If you tilt the joystick forward, you accelerate. If you tilt the joystick backwards, you accelerate to the back. If there's no obstacle, you can go very fast. And if an obstacle comes near, you see the car automatically brakes. And it goes automatically. It's to prevent damage. Okay, these are the driving functions. Go forward, go backward, and you can steer to the left and to the right. So let me switch the camera uh, to 4 to 3 aspect ratio so we can see a higher vertical angle. 
We choose the resolution of 960 with 100 frames per second. And there it is. We have a very high vertical viewing angle. What is very nice about that feature um, to twist the stick to control the camera and to tilt the stick for the steering is that you can do a movement when you are going um, from left to right and from right to left. So before you start steering by tilting the stick you can look into the direction you want to go. Let's say we want to go to the right. So before we start tilting the stick we twist it to the right and we can look into the direction we are going. After that you can tilt the stick to steer into that direction. For going into the other direction you can, you can twist the stick to the left and after that you, tr you tilt the stick to the left. So you can always look into the direction you are planning to go and by doing this movement you can look and steer and drive by just one hand. As you can see, I am looking into the direction I am going to steer later. So first I am looking to the left, now I am steering to the left, now I am looking to the right and I am steering to the right. I am looking to the left and steering to the left and I am looking to the right and steering to the right. So this is a very nice feature. The control of the car and the camera simultaneously needs some practicing. I would like to show you some other features now. You see the buttons down here, I don't use them, I, so I can control other things. This one is an ISP connector. It is for in-system programming of the joystick. For example, if you want to put other features on it, you just connect it here and you can update the software. And this is the antenna for sending the signal to the car. The only buttons I'm using now um, is the coolie head. If I push the coolie head up, you see the lights go on of the car. If I push the coolie head down, the lights go off. This button is for overriding the distance sensor here. So if there's a leaf on that sensor that blocks it, you can't go backwards. But if you want to go backwards, just push this key and the car goes. If you release it, it goes and if there's an obstacle, it stops again. To conclude the video, I have shown you the ISP connector at the bottom of the car. So you can use an ISP programmer, this is by AVR, by Atmel, and you can program the new software without getting rid of the case every time. It has an ultrasonic distance sensor and an OLED display which displays you some values like battery status and some other values. At the top here is a platform that can pan the camera and it can tilt the camera. And of course you can accelerate the car and you can uh, steer the car. The steering is done by putting the joystick to the left and the right. You can accelerate by pushing the joystick forward. You can accelerate backwards by pushing the joystick backwards and the distance sensor stops the car automatically. You can pan the camera by twisting the stick to the left and to the right and you can tilt the camera up and down by that throttle here. I hope you enjoyed the setup I have made to show you the receiver, the joystick and of course the car. So give me some comments if you like it, if you have some other ideas, if you want to know something, whatever. So happy tinkering, I hope you got some new ideas and I hope to see you again. <laughs>